Today I want to talk about a kind of exploding effect using lines inside of 3JS. This is kind of what we're going to end up with, or something maybe that looks like this. A bunch of different effects that we can achieve using an add-on inside of 3JS called Line2. We're going to get started by importing the add-ons we need, which are Line Material, Line Geometry, and Line2. Import Line Geometry. Line Material, Line2. And instead of this stuff here, I'm going to create a line instead. Um, const line geo equals new line geometry. Um, that's great. I'm going to use that. I like to break this out into an, a named array. Call it verts or varts. Const verts equals paste. This, these are three points in 3D space, X, Y, and Z coordinates. So I'm just going to draw a line along the X axis. Um, let's create a material. Const line mat equals a new line material. I don't want any of this stuff yet, but I will want it later. Uh, and we'll give it a color. That color to start out with will be yellow. Now, uh, const line is equal to a new three dot line and add it to the scene. That doesn't work. Do you know why? Um, Scene.add line. Oh, because of this. Oh my god. If I zoom out, I can't zoom far enough out. The line is so big. Maybe if I gave it a tiny, tiny line width. There, that's better. Interesting, right? N not great. It's because we didn't set the resolution. So line mat dot resolution dot set the viewport inner width and inner height. And now it's it's the line's gone. If we set it to one, that makes more sense. That looks like a pixel. But let's make it even clearer. Yeah, like that. Great. Um, yeah, we have a line. Next thing I want to do is create a bunch of lines. Um, I want this to be up, up above because I don't want to have to look at it. All right. I'm going to wrap this with a function name, get line. So that I can call it again and again. And here I'll return line instead of uh, adding it. Now um, let line equal get line. And scene.add line. There's our line again. But now we can do a bunch. Oh. Const num lines equals 35. And for var i to equal zero, oh, I don't want this in there. Get rid of this stuff. GitHub Copilot speeds things up. So I have 35 lines now, but you only see one because it's all in the same position. If I undo that change, I'm going to use this here in my get line method here. Now, just on the y-axis, it looks like this. And add the z-axis, and you get this kind of pattern here. I feel like those are a little bit long, so I'm going to shorten them slightly. Now they're within frame better. Great. The next thing I want to do is to create a kind of group to put all these lines into, and in which I can add the functionality to initialize and animate these guys, you know, or update. 
I'm going to add it here. Function get lines group. And I'll say const group is equal to a new group. Group and object 3D, I think, are the same thing. It's just a convenience to be able to call it um, a group. Great. And I want to return that group. Return group. Now I can say const lines is equal to get line group. And I can add that to the scene. Scene dot add get lines. Sorry, scene dot add lines. I'd like to add that to the group instead of to the scene. Here's here's why. Um, if I write an update method, function update, and I just rotate the group. Let's let's comment that out for now. I'm just going to rotate the group a little bit. Um, a little bit more on the y-axis, like that. Now I can add this update method to the user data object that lives on this group. Now I can access that here, lines.userData.update, pass in t, and I can move them all around like that, ever so gently. Let's make that plus so it goes in the other direction. Oh, it's not very obviously different, but. Great. Um, I want to animate the lines right now. To do that, I want to add an update method to my line now. I'm going to do that right here. Function update, take t. I want this to, I want to animate this dash offset property. Um, nope, I just want that to be t time, times some fractional value. It's actually line.material.offset. And we haven't defined um, that at all, and nor are we calling it. Let's call it real quick and see if it does anything. It doesn't do anything um, because it's not a function. Did I forget to update it? Yeah, darn it. Line.userData, thank you. Now I can call it, but nothing's happening because I need to tell this material to be dashed. Like so. And that's not really that great either because I need to, um, I think it's on the line. I need to cal uh, compute line distances. Now that I do that, oh goodness. That's that's way too fast. Now I'm getting this. Uh, uh, I'm telling 3JS that this line is dashed, and the and I'm animating the offset on that dash. Um, the default values for the dash size and the gap size are set. We can set those too. Let's see. Dash offset, great dash size and gap size. That's going to give a different effect. We can make this even more fractional to get lots of little lines like that. Oh, that's pretty good. Whoops. Um, let's try one. Yeah, okay. You could randomize those two, whatever. Um, I want them to go the other way. I want them to radiate out, and so that's just a matter of changing the sign here like that. If I wanted them to have different speeds, I'll, I'll, I'll create a rate const rate is equal to math.random times some small value like that. And now they all have different rates. Hmm. I'm just going to slow it down a little bit. Okay, I want to change the colors of the lines now. Um, to do that, I'm going to create an array of colors, one for each vertex in the line, and then I can assign whatever colors I want. I could do random colors, I could do a color palette, I could like do based on position or whatever. S to start out with, 
const colors is equal to a new empty array. And I'm going to iterate over the verts. This is what I've been doing. That's why um, 3JS, I'm sorry, GitHub Copilot just spit it out. Let's start with simple, a simple one though. Um, that's pretty simple, but I'm just going to say um, let call equal a new three dot color. Uh, okay, okay, we can do that. Hmm, this is interesting. This is not at all what I expected. Let's get rid of that. So, what's this? Instantiate a new color. Call its set HSL hue saturation light lightness function. Let's pull this out like this. Const hue equals math.random. And now nothing changes because we need to tell the line material that we want to use vertex colors. Vertex colors. And there you go. Oh, <laughs> I'm not setting the colors yet. Here, line geo dot set colors. And now we've got random colors. And, and you can see that the, it's each line has a couple of different colors. I really like this effect where they start bright in the middle. And as they reach the end of the, the, the largest, the furthest point of the line from the center, they're darkest. To do that, I'm going to create a lightness, lightness property. And there's, there's the secret value. Um, just to show you how that works, I see L I J F T S. Yes. So they start bright and get dark as you, as they reach the end. That hue being random is kind of distracting. Let's make them all yellow or greenish yellow. Yeah, a little bit of variation in the colors or a lot of variation in the colors, way too much. Um, let's see, how about four, seven? Blues and purples. And then we can change the background hue to like something warmer, but not that, because that looks awful. I guess red. Or nine, five, what's that look like? Oh, I liked red better. Some things to try for variation, you could use a color palette instead of just randomly assigning the hue. You could also play with the line thickness. You could turn off this dashed property because I think it looks pretty cool without it. Oh, and increase the number of lines to 350. That's way too many. How about 150? 250, 250. Isn't that nice? What else? You could add some noise to the to the vertice, vertices and make them kind of wiggly. Um, animate these other properties, dash size and gap size. Let's see what that looks like real quick. And instead of this dash offset, I could use these guys instead. Here I'm referencing the line mat directly instead of the material property of the line. Same difference make it dashed again and now we get this effect I just think that's super cool and change the background hue back to five mm, I don't love those colors um, how about that? That's pretty good. There you have it. Today we just looked at lines inside of 3JS and how to play with a dashed property on the material to get this cool exploding effect. Um, yeah, there's lots to explore. There are more variations you could try. Thanks so much for coming by and watching my video. If you like this, please share it with those you know. It really helps grow my channel. It also helps if you can contribute on Patreon. 
uh, it takes time to make these and your support really helps me make more of them. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.